every C program contains the main. I write the main, and obviously I'm going to use printf because that's what I'm going to do. So std, uh, so I write hash include stdio dot h. Now, now to print my resume, uh, what are the things I need to have? <coughs> okay, so I should have, I, I should print f my name, right? So name, Rijit, right? And now, okay. And now things like gender. How do how do you show the gender? You can write mail here, but we know how to. Uh, let's do it using a variable. First, let me declare a variable, and then I'm going to use that variable here. That will be a, a better way to do because we can. We now know how to declare variable. So uh, I want a character variable, right? So how do I write the character variable? So I write character char gender is equal to right so i i can have that character here how do i do i write percentage c comma gender right uh, and then i put my semicolon and as you could notice i didn't put the semicolon above so i did that now i can let me see i compiled i ran oh sorry something happened uh, i didn't compile the correct file it was it's a resume, so I, I had to compile the resume.cc. I compiled, okay, there's some problem. I didn't put the semicolon here, I did that. I compiled and I ran. Okay, so name is rigid and gender is uh, M. I can have a printf down here to so that it goes to the next line. Uh, again, printf does not have a semicolon. I did that, I compiled, I ran. Okay, so now this is. <coughs> Uh, what uh, you have but now uh, in your case let's say uh, I want to uh, this is uh, let's just move ahead and say um, you are grade sheet that's what I'm interested in printing okay so so if I change it to a grade sheet I will have to consider your marks for different subjects and then I want to uh, find the total and the CGPA right uh, so how, how is it calculated so you have you had let's say you had four courses last thing and your marks for each of the courses is out of 100 so i'm going to write int mark one is equal to let's say uh, okay so you are uh, cgp is in uh, 10 so you are going to write mark one is nine let's say uh, in so that's the your mark for the first course this is equal to 8 second course is 8 third course is let's say uh, so you have 6 and fourth course is like you are really poor you got 5 and if you would want to print all these things you will have to print up print all these things here you have to print uh, whatever the course name let's call it i don't know uh, the c uh, the uh, programming uh, cs101 course and you want display its mark okay so that is mark one okay. and next you have what is electronics is it let's have electronics here and you have percentage d mark two right so ideally you are uh, the variable names also should be more meaningful than just mark one mark two and i should ideally have something which is more meaningful so i, I should have let's say uh, it is it should be like cs on no one or you could have had mark underscore cs on no one so it's mark of cs on no one so this is mark of uh, electronics is maybe cs okay so let's just have E, e. Uh, let's just have it as ee 101 uh, i don't know maybe it's very different so this is mark underscore so mechanical me 101 and finally some uh, let's say humanities hs 101 so we are going to have print all these things here print of, um, mechanical me 101 so it's mechanics okay 
its mechanics in mu or no one is possibly d comma mark underscore in mu or no one so this was mark underscore ee or no one and this was mark underscore c or no one and finally you have you are going to print uh, uh, humanities right uh, it's just or no one Now I'm going to see and run this thing. Ah, what happened? This is not the format I would want, right? I there's a lot of uh, everything is in one line. I would have liked things to be one below the other. So let me add. So after gender, I want a new line, right? So I can add a new line after gender here. So this is something. Till now I had always added slash n to the in the end but it, it's 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 not compulsory you could have add slash in anywhere so this time i would add slash in, in the beginning just to show you how things work but i mean you could have added slash in, in the after the gender personality but i chose to add slash in before the next line so they both are the same uh, the results will be the same so i did this and uh, yeah now you can see all these things coming up but now so what is it you don't like yeah this is not the good way right 9865 this is not the good way to see this so what can i do i can add because if you would i wanted it to be in the same place so i can add one thing i can add slash t i mean okay one thing to add is you could have added space here to make up for everything to be correct right but uh, i prefer adding a slash t and see let's see what happens if i add a slash t Slash T here. So that will move things a little bit to the right. See, it's gone ahead and things have, are nicely placed now. Okay, these are your marks. <coughs> so the, and now you would want to write a total, right? So maybe uh, you would want something, some style here. So you could have add some style like this. Let's say. And you could have had first semester mark sheet, and then I add again in style. Okay, okay, and I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it here, and now I'm going to print the total. Now, what is the total? I want the, the CGPA, right? Which is, let's say, the average of um, all these marks by four, right? And okay, so first of all, uh, the CGPA average, so the average, do you want it to be an integer? These are things which you would have to uh, think before you define things. Do you want CGPA to be an integer? Okay, firstly, uh, do you want it to be an integer? No, the average need not be an integer, right? Because 9 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5, uh, uh, is it divisible by 4? 11, uh, so 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 8 is um, 19, plus 9 is 28, 28, uh, okay. Luckily, it turned out to be divisible by 4, but... Uh, Uh, that's not something uh, okay so let me just change this thing to 8 okay so that uh, things are not divisible by 4 right <clears throat> now so you would if you I, I, let's say you want things to be so the CGPA can be a, a decimal number it's a float number right according to the C language so we want it to be float CGPA right and it should be the average of all these marks so i want mark this plus mark this plus mark me plus mark hs and divide, divide by four 
first question will this work something you have to think and answer will this work i claim no this won't give you a correct answer because you had declared all this in to be all these variables to be integers and we had said sum of integers and operations with integers will return you an integer and cgpa will basically be that integer we can just check that thing uh, i can let's try that thing out okay and what happened i didn't put some print of some column somewhere ha huh, i didn't put a column here what else was there some percentage ha huh. another thing is it's percentage d and uh, i have tried to print cgpa right but it's a float so i should have had percentage f and i just have percentage f now With this i compile i run ah okay so there is no new line here so things are all bad does not look good i added the new line here i added the new line here add new line here i would add new line here now things should look good things would look good okay i can add ha huh. so this one tab is only here so i can add one more tab to get things to the right position <coughs> okay even this is not good so i can add one more tab okay so this is in the right position uh, only problem is what is the problem yeah i don't want 6 point uh, this much a big so i can make it into two decimals so that will at least give you two decimal but the problem is that your cgp is not 6 6 it's a little more than that and that's because uh, it has been converted into an integer uh, these are all integers and it's not a float number anymore there are multiple ways you can deal with this how do you deal with so what we know is that we should have had these to be float okay okay we should have had these to be float and then then but let me tell you another method uh, so that you you would you you can use it if uh, for some reason you don't want to convert uh, change because you 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 know that has, that has to be an integer but uh, somehow it did not but you wanted it to be uh, you, you wanted to remain an integer so in that case you can define a new float let's call it uh, cs on no one and that float time i can i can assign the float value that float number i can assign this integer value and i can use it here okay so now what do i have i have a float with addition of integers etc now what do i see okay now i got correctly because this is this is not an integer operation anymore this is i have added a float element into the picture into this arithmetic operation so the float plus an integer is a float plus an integer is a float plus an integer is a float divided by 4 is a float so you get what we wanted 6.75 okay so uh, that's your that's one way you can print your grid 